Red Bull Sergio Perez is considered by many to be a dependable driver who rarely makes mistakes. However, he was caught off guard just as the late virtual safety car during the French Grand Prix was coming to an end. This allowed Mercedes driver George Russell to get past him, and Perez ended up possibly losing a podium position. It has now come to light how an issue in the FIA system led to Sergio's indecision. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, FIA hardware issue screwed Sergio Perez. After the race, Perez explained his confusion. I just got screwed with the virtual safety car because it said it was going to end up out of turn 9, so I went for it. But then it didn't end, and then it ended into turn 13, so I don't know what they were doing with it. The virtual safety car interfered with the result to be honest, it shouldn't be the case. The FIA, in a statement as quoted by Autosport, confirmed that they indeed experienced the hardware glitch. A second VSC ending message was sent due to a hardware issue, which led to an automated switch to backup systems that worked exactly as they should in that scenario. The same information is supplied to all teams concurrently. The VSC ending countdown time to the green light being displayed on the trackside panels is always random. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner was supportive of his driver. It was one of those frustrating things where, with the virtual safety car, there was an issue with the software, so they were behind it longer than they should have been. When they released it, Checo was right on his delta, but George had obviously backed off, and as he accelerated, he didn't break his delta. He was going 30 km an hour faster than Checo as the VSC ended. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko wasn't as kind while speaking to Suddutje Zeitung. Checo was sleeping at the restart. Maybe he drank tequila yesterday. Fast feed. Red Bull's Max Verstappen feels it was really unlucky for Charles, and I'm glad he's okay. It could have been a really fun race because both cars were so quick. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton wasn't expecting to fight for second place or a podium, so this is a wonderful result. Our team has been amazing when it comes to reliability, and it shows that with dedication and focus we can slowly make our way up. We don't have the same pace yet as the two teams at the front, but we were able to keep one of them at bay, so a great result. Teammate George Russell was glad to see the chequered flag and come home P3. We're making a lot of progress, and we really need to improve our qualifying performance as we're lacking consistency. We know as a team we struggle with the tyre warm-up. Our race pace was reasonable, and we're getting closer to the front. Ferrari Charles Leclerc accepted that he made a mistake and paid the price for it. Now I will reset before the next race in Hungary, where I'll give my all once again. His teammate Carlos Sainz explained that even though they were a bit unlucky with the pit stop and the penalty, they managed to fight at the front. Like always, we will review everything these couple of days to see where we can improve and hopefully we can bring home a better result before the summer break. A pity for Charles as he was doing a great race. We'll keep pushing. Is Sergio Perez still a championship contender? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.